<laughs> we have murder weapons today. I like it. Movie murder weapons because we're a week away from Halloween. And we always. I've have tried weapons. to convince him to do movie knives. For Probably. how long? Oh, since episode one. So I'm excited. <laughs> That's why it's our subject today. On I know. Guys talk knives. <laughs> Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. How big is it? She did her eyebrows for it there yeah. at the thing. And not like she did her eyebrows. She I was did doing it. These are actually the really eyebrows. terrible eyebrows right now. They need to be plucked like that. Can we just no, say no, she's no. going see, hat see, free yeah. again? She is. Hat free. It's a new routine, though. I like it. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to branch out. No hat in the middle. No hat in the middle. That's a game I played as a kid. I feel like I feel like I've been here long. No enough. hat in the middle. Is that like monkey in the middle? It is. Okay. Oh, I hated that game. What monkey in the middle? Yeah. It's fun to play when you're adults too. No, it's with not. With a short person. No. Yeah, it is. No, 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 no. no. Everyone in my family was baseball players. I never, I never was gonna get whatever. You they were, were always the me. monkey. I sure was. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, no monkeys on the table today, but we do have. I, I tried to pick things that would be recognizable from horror. Movies. You stuck Classic me on one. From horror, horror movies. movies. Horror movies. Not a be No. Horror movies. I have multiples like for almost made. everything on the table. I agree. I did pick them for specific movies, and yes. that's fine. If you have multiples for them, it's it's all good. I We're going to get through all of them, but we have five things here this on the table. This one is the one that's stumping Four me. knives. Well, I'm three excited. knives, one machete, and one axe. I think I know two. You think you know two? Okay, well, we're going to start off probably with the easiest one and the most iconic one. Oh, yeah. On the table, that's easily. That's what I was talking about. It is the Buck 120 General, and you're going to get to show this one. I'm going to tell is about that it first. Is this one of the ones you knew? Is this one of the ones you knew? Okay. No. Okay. So I, I guarantee Jason <laughs> knows this one, but we're going to put it, go to camera too, and we'll, we'll talk about this one really quick. This one is the Buck 120 General. It's 7.4 inch 420 HC clip point blade, it's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. It has that Paul Bowes heat treat, so you know it's awesome, 420 no HC. There's a blood groove. Yeah. It has a black phenolic or phenolic handle, phenolic, phenolic, phenolic alcoholic handle, some kind. <laughs> the uh, aluminum guard and handle. It's and not bubble. as easy as you look, is it? 12 inch <laughs> overall, 8.3 ounces, black leather belt sheath comes with this thing. Make fun of me every right week, because I can't read. <laughs> And these are made in the USA. So I'm going to hit this one for you, Jason. There we go. What movie? Um, the the <laughs> easiest one is Scream. Yes. It is literally the knife in the Scream the movies. The knife in the Scream movies. It is Ghost's Face Knife from the Scream movies. Now, you can't just point it at the camera like that. You have to kind of show it, even when you hold it up here. There you go. Now, simply because it was in a Scream movie, it is also the movie from Scary Movie 1. Of course. The knife from Scary Movie 1. Yes. Yes. Even though they did like the rubber one several times on purpose, oh, of which course, was yeah. hilarious yeah. as it's wagging back and forth. Yeah, this There's is the knife that uh, went through the side of, uh, it's not Tay Diggs, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, he was on House. Anyway, went to the side of his head in the beginning of Scream 2, <laughs> chopped up Drew Barrymore, it's, actually disemboweled her. It's just a stabby, stabby classic knife. It's genius. It's, it's a so great easy. hunting knife as well. I mean, that's what it's intended for. Yes. But, uh, yeah, it is a... Um, I feel like it was first intended to stab. It is a fantastic knife. <laughs> can Andy, can you name the the movie that they based off of the murders in Scream 1 and Scream 2? What was it called? I have no idea. Stab! Really? <laughs> yes! Wow. <laughs> the movie they had that they were going to see... Right. about those murders at the beginning of Scream 2 right. was called Stab. So here's another little piece of trivia about this. In the same horror movie genre, mm -hmm. this knife, <clears throat> this knife, or it's either that or a 119, which is almost the same, just a little bit shorter, is on the movie poster for Friday the 13th. Yes. It goes through yes. the hockey mask and it's bloody. Yes, it does. Yes. 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 It, it is, And it, it has been used in lots more, so feel free to fill up all of the yeah. comment sections. <laughs> with the other movies that were missing, but that uh, Scream is by far the most iconic because you see this knife, you know, being wiped off and pulled out. Oh, and he's constantly times. roaming around with it in stabby, stabby motion. Oh, yeah. With his, yes. Yeah, yes. Just, with the, the, yes. He's like this. Yes. Half the time during the uh -huh. movie. He never runs. He just walks. <laughs> no, no, no. Ghostface he, runs. Ghostface I'm runs. just saying. He is most, all purpose. Most of all the bad guys, they walk, and Ghost they will Face, walk faster than you will ever run. To me, is one of the funniest horror movie bad guys ever. That genre, 
that movie in that genre changed. Wes Craven changed horror movies mm-hmm. because he let he broke all of his own rules. Right. And was what do you mean broke all of his own rules? So, for <laughs> instance, don't just say that. I don't want to hear some. The Virgin never dies. Right. If you want to live, you stay a virgin. Okay. Well, they actually talked about that rule in Halloween, the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. King of the Curtis is the one who doesn't have sex. She lives. Okay. Then Nev Campbell in Scream has sex and lives. So he breaks all of his own rules that he's established over time and that John Carpenter established over time. It was a very spot-on genre-bending movie. That's a very weird like form of like uh, protective sex is to scare everybody to think that they're going to be It really yeah. was, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, that, and that's what John Carpenter and Wes Craven were going off of. Back really? Then. Yeah. The bad, that's pe- rude. The bad, bad people, people die, die first. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's the buck. Uh, 120 general, it's 90 bucks. Yeah. 90 Great bucks. Great too. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a bunch of these in the store if you want one of these. And now, we are not recommending using them as they were used Absolutely. in any of these movies. Absolutely. Maybe with the case of one. You could use this for one of those. Perfect. <laughs> Let's jump on to the second one. This is the Ontario <laughs> Knife stuff. Company Bushcraft yeah, Machete. Is. You're welcome to hold this while I describe it. Oh. This one right here is 16 inches of black powder coated 5160 steel. Uh, it is uh, full tang, so it goes all the way through the handle on that Micarta handle. It has triple rivets, so that handle's not going anywhere. It has a lanyard hole. These are made in the USA. The blade on it is really cool because of that upswept part at the top there. It's 21.75 inches uh, overall, and it weighs a whopping 21 I ounces. Know. It is heavy. Show them how thick it is. It is thick. You can hold it down, and he'll get to camera too and show you thickness. You told me not to do that. That's fine. Look here. It is thick. I'm going to guess yeah. that is three sixteenths. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I'll tell you this, it's you awesome. Can chop head off. And with quite it. frankly, Mrs. Voorhees and her son, either one would be thrilled about having that. That is an upgrade to what they most likely had at Camp Crystal Lake. So your your guess is Friday the Thirteenth series. Is, it is yeah. Jason. Yeah, Very Jason, good. Jason Voorhees is known for his machete use. Though they, one of the Sleepaway Camp movies, they used a machete to behead somebody. Uh-huh. Um, I you, you had some machete action in uh, Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> he dug deep for that one. I did. Dig. I watched that recently. That's why it's in my head. Oh. Machetes have always been a staple, though, of horror movies. This is a great knife, just in in by itself. The flexibility of it is really, really oh, nice yeah. for something as big as it is. Um, it's a, no, it's That's a, Ontario. Sorry, it's Ontario. It's made in the USA. Yeah, I mean, it's just they do they do amazing stuff. That yeah. thing's um, heavy. I love the handle. Yeah, sometimes they, with machetes, yes, you have the problem of the handle not being exactly the width of the tang of the of the blade, and you it'll rub. Yes, this. And what there's there's an easy fix for that. If you ever buy a machete like that, buy tennis racket tape and wrap it, and you're fine. Uh, baseball uh, tape, wrap mm-hmm. it, you're fine. But this one, you're not going to need that. Right. You can you can easily cool chop about up that some handle. campers or some camp counselors with this without any problem. What's cool about that handle as well is the swell at the end. Uh-huh. The biggest problem you run into with a machete using it out yes. there while you're yes. chopping up, you know, counselors and. Sure. Camp kids. <laughs> is that it gets slick and wants to slide out of your hand. Or if you just get sweaty while you're chopping up, yes. you know, <sighs> stuff. Oh, no, it yeah. wants to slide out this way. That's why they almost all have lanyard holes and you put it on because they begin to slip out of your hand. When you've been in the bottle of Camp Crystal, bottom of Camp Crystal Lake for so long. <laughs> it's true. You're slimy. You are kind of slimy and rotten. When you come up, <laughs> your hand's slick. You need a good Micarta handle to keep it from sliding out. I wanted to do a, um, because Jason's uh, machete is not coated. No, it's not like this is. Uh, at, but the one in Jason it, it, it matches the handle almost perfectly on I the Jason I think that was dry machete. blood. May have been. Yeah, 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 completely. The, the handle from the posters, the handle from the, the screen oh, caps that I have, it, it is this shaped no. handle. Seeing as Tom Savini did the props and the special effects, I guarantee it was a cheap as crap. Found it at a sure. hardware store sure. machete that they used. Probably. And they bought six of them, and most of them didn't have blades when they got done. <laughs> I bet they all made the same little sound. Cool thing about, oh, yeah, they did. Cool thing about <laughs> this, it's 60 bucks. Ooh. 60 bucks USA made machete. Powder coated. Great machete. Yes, excellent machete from Ontario Knife Company. Do not kill people with it. No. Don't no. And don't drown yourself in Camp Crystal Lake and stay at the bottom with okay. it for too long, because it's still metal. It's not stainless. It's not stain proof. Proof, thank you. It is stainless. Right. 
So, sorry. Well, how was he under the lake for so long? Like, well, did the he first not one, die? No, in the first one, the counselors weren't paying attention. He drowned in the lake as a little kid. And okay. his mother was the killer. Spoilers on a 30-year-old movie. How did she kill him? <laughs> did she drown movie. him? There's some so different she, theories about, in the about first Jason one, as well. In the first one, his mom was the killer. And he had drowned years before in the lake. And she was just exacting revenge. she her was revenge. exacting revenge. Then she gets beheaded at the end of the first one. Mm-hmm. He comes out of the water at the end and is reanimated by her hate. Whatever. But, Praise to her head. Okay, how do you drown at like six years old and like stay alive? He, was he wasn't. His he was mom like was or enacting him. He, yeah. yeah. And, and then the later ones, he came so, back okay, as a so here's a, here, and There are also other theories about this. So, so you say that he didn't actually die when yeah. he drowned. Okay. He was brain damaged and turned into this thing, and his mother, through revenge, turned him into this cold blooded killer. And then Big after strong, number adult four, crazy, yeah, they bring him back with electricity out of a grave, so he technically is a golem at that point. So he's completely supernatural <laughs> going forward. Okay. Which is how eventually he can fight. He can actually be taken to hell in one of them. He can go to outer space in one of them, and he can fight Freddy Krueger in another one. Who's the first person to die? in the original Friday the 13th. Um, and I can tell you, this one messed me up for a long time. Because at my age, when I watched this movie. How old were you? Is it Kevin Bacon? Yes. Yeah. Kevin Bacon with an arrow from under the bed through his neck. Yep. And it messed me up for a long time. Why? What other? Because I was like nine when this movie so, came oh, out. I know that. So other, <laughs> it, other set of series from the same time, Nightmare on Elm Street, who was the, the big name nowadays who died in that one? Johnny Depp. Thank you. Yes. Johnny Depp, one of his very first starring yes. roles. We're in a crop now, we top. don't have a... We, <laughs> yeah, get sucked into a bed. Yes. Um, we don't have a Freddy Krueger glove on the table, no, unfortunately. No. I actually looked for something that could be like that. Let's jump into the next one. I made one. one of those as a kid. The hey, next one I picked specifically for something, but it could be in a million of them. Uh, yes, so it has been. Here. Oh, 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 oh. This is a cold steel kitchen knife. Believe it or not, Cold Steel makes kitchen knives. And in fact, we heard on SMKW Army's page that a guy has a set of these he's had for like 15, 20 years oh, yeah. and dead on loves them. They are solid. Yep. This one is an 8-inch German 4116 Cryo Quench stainless steel. Look at the thickness. It's, got a sh- it's a chef's blade with a satin finish. It's got black Crayx handle. It's full tang construction. The blade thickness on this is one eighth of an inch. <laughs> God. Yep. Um, it has a 5-inch handle, and it's 13 inches overall, and it weighs about 5.4 ounces. And I tell you what, Mrs. Bates' little boy would have been happy Not actually the this. one I was going for, but he would which, have. Which one are you going with it? Uh, it is the one from every single movie poster. It is. It was the knife closest to and the knife of choice for Mr. Michael Myers. Oh, I could go with that. And yeah. I went cold steel because he did so much killing with it. No, sure. I was you like, needs to, to hold it. up. Yeah. <laughs> That is the one that I I mean, it would be a meat shoe. You thought Psycho? Yeah. Oh, was it Psycho? Was that the name of the movie? With Michael Myers? Michael Myers is Halloween. Yeah. Halloween Halloween. Halloween is right. You were on it. He was guessing, and it's there. Yes, that one too. Yeah. yeah. Norman Bates, as his mother, killed with the kitchen knife as well. Yeah. Uh, you also have a lot of kitchen knives show up in like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, they're, they're kitchen knives are everywhere. It's, yeah. a, it's a knife of convenience. Well, it's also convenient for the filming crew because most horror movies have really low budgets, so you want to buy something cheap that you can pick up at Walmart. It's, buy also, it frank, it's also frankly what most people get stabbed with out yes, there. Yes, it is. It's what realistic. Kills? Either by accident or on purpose. Yeah. What kills me about the Chainsaw Massacre movies is that all the girls, they're like almost naked running through the fields and like what the horror movie genre well, has like, always done. Like, they look great, but they're about to be killed, but they look great right now. Yep, you know mud in all the right places. Yeah. Horror porn. It is what it is. Yes. How much is it? How much is it? I haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah. It's price. Oh, uh, he thinks it's easy. 25 bucks. I, I'm waiting for someone to kill me know, like I right? kill you. 25 bucks on that cold oh, we're steel. We're talking movies like Care Less today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 25 bucks for this cold steel. We have other cold steels you know, as well. You could also throw Grumman's into that. You threw what? Gremlins. Yes. Because the mom killed one of the gremlins with one of those. Not the gremlins Nicole's were killed kill. by all sorts of things in that movie. Oh, was Blender. Really? Microwaves. Blender. Yep. Oh. That sounds painful. Gremlins. Really? Gremlins was billed completely as a, a not the movie that it was. <laughs> Didn't uh, Chuck one of my have first a knife? dates. Chuck did have a knife. Yeah. Mm. Was it really? Uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Parents dropped us off. 
The whole bit. I had no idea what you were going to watch. No idea. Oh, that's exciting. It was exciting. I was in middle school, so. Aw. It was cute. Andy cried under the chair in the theater the whole time. My dad would never let that happen. I didn't go on like a real date until I was like almost like 16. Oh, they weren't real dates. (laughs) They weren't real dates. No, I didn't get dropped off anywhere. That was middle school when you could go with somebody and not even talk to them for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even look at them. Yep. That really uh, blinded myself with the the flash off the blade. But that is a, that's a really, really cool kitchen knife. Yeah. Love the way it looks, and it is it is for real as thick as yeah, as said Mike Myers. Nice. Mike Myers. He would have dug that. Yeah, he would. He was still the scariest to me. I still say Norm Bates though, because you kill somebody in the shower, there's water and blood. You got a good solid handle. Michael Myers to me is the scariest one of them, because no. he was so quiet, and he's always just lurking in the background, and. Just suddenly he was there. The best thing about that movie is that John Carpenter wrote it, directed it, and did the music for it. <laughs> he ran one of the cameras at one point. Uh-huh. He probably he probably was his own DP. He just is he he literally that was his baby. Aww. <laughs> it was amazing. Okay, the one that's coming up next is the one I don't know. Is the one that I, well, I'm hoping to stump Jason with. You're gonna have to show this on camera. We may actually show it up close with camera three here in just a second. Um, this right here is a Marvel Small Hunter. It is stainless. It's a stainless steel blade, stag handle, brass guard and pommel, brown and brass spacers. It's 3.6 inch clip point blade. The blade thickness is an eighth of an inch. It's 7.5 inches overall and comes with a leather belt sheath. It is not exact to what was in the movie, but it was in the movie, and this one right here is going to cost you $13. It rocks. I dig. No Country for Old Men, that was a horror bull movie. $13, <laughs> let's, let's go right here for camera three for just half a second. <laughs> My work here is done, I got There's Molina what this knife looks like all the way across. It's really pretty, I cannot place it. It's and only to admit that. $13. Can't blaze it. Thirteen dollars. It's from the movie that has a thirteen in it. Thirteen ghosts. Yep. Friday the thirteenth. Oh, I said it. Okay. You did say it. This is the knife that is revealed as Pam Voorhees' first kill. Oh. She is in a shot just like this with her small That's hunter right. knife. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's when they reveal it to you that she is the killer because yeah, she's she's being consoling, if you remember. That's right. And then she's Yeah. 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 That's Cam Voorhees, Jason's mom. Very, very killed good. with a small no, like hunter. That. Yeah. I like that. Just like that. That's a good pick, sir. Yes. It was it was a I did some research you to know, find that one. That's a really cool little knife too. And especially for thirteen dollars. Have yeah, you seen all the marbles that are like that? Oh, they're mean, amazing. Yeah. And it's a nice simple sheath. Mm-hmm. Great simple design that is that is put together so well. It's very pretty. Very yes. appealing. Is it a guy. push tank? Rat tank. Uh, it's a rat tank. Rat tank. What's yeah. that? Down to the end. So, so yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. So with a rat tang, the metal from the blade continues as a rat tail. So it's just like a rat tail it's cone. thinner and thinner. Really, really thin. And it comes all the way to here. And you can see on the butt cap where there's actually a... Pull it down on camera, too. Yep, it's right there in front of you. You're on it. Where you can see Back where it actually is tapped in. Oh, okay. Right there. Yep. And that's a rat tail. So and like this is full tang or length. Length. Full yeah. thing where it goes all the way around. A rat tail. Then oh, you have Jeff. quarter tangs, half tangs, three quarter tangs, and those stop partially through the handle. And you have push tangs too, where it actually is pushed into. Yeah, which would be like a like or a three quarter or, or a half. Or a half. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Could be anything at that point. The strongest knife is the one that goes all the way through the handle, yeah. but you know you get a rat tail is pretty well, strong. Well, and and sometimes you do that because you obviously with this you don't want to split that piece <clears> of bone. Oh yeah. Right. It's probably oh, actually yeah. an antler. I was about to say it almost has to be, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably an antler. Oh yeah, because yeah, you can see the. It's a horn. Yeah, you can see the, the it's a horn. inside of it right there. Really nice. So it's very pretty. That one's thirteen bucks from Friday the Thirteenth. Jason Voorhees' mom, Pam. The original. Pam. The original. Pam. Yes. Last but not least, and I picked this one specifically because of the type of axe this is. Yes. This is the Council Tool twenty-eight inch Fireman's Pickhead Axe. It is tools. It is a tool steel axe head with a rust protective coating. It has an American hickory handle. It's got a four and a quarter inch cutting edge, a three and one eighths inch long so pick head out there on the end. It's 28 inches overall, and this thing is made in the USA for only 56 bucks. It's a Not great bad. axe. Yeah. You got an idea 
Oh, it's The Shining. Yes, it is. Yes. It is absolutely Would from The Shining. Would have come off the wall of the Overlook Hotel. And I had to find one that was just yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, so the emergency axes that were on the walls at the Overlook Hotel, this is what uh, Jack Torrance. I think they also use an emergency axe in the Silent Night, Deadly Night series. Probably. Where Santa was chopping people up. Probably. Jason used an axe oh. quite a bit, too, but he never did. one that was a fireman's axe. Yeah, I don't think he did, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Maybe in Jason is... Goes to Manhattan. <laughs> he could have. He could have. He could have. And I think... I'd have to go back and look. Isn't the one from the original Amityville Horror one of the safety acts? I, mean, I, I, have, I am act? so not familiar with that movie. Enough. I'd have to go back and look. I, I, I watched it years and years ago. Uh, this one has the little uh, safety part on here, but we could probably pop that off. You're never going to get that It has a what? It has an axe condom, okay? I'm not getting that off at the moment. It's so good, Andy can't even get it off I don't know there. if a lot of people know that we carry a lot of axes. We do. I, they probably don't. It's put together... So well. I mean, you can see the head, and they've actually, it has a metal divot put down the wood there in the center to hold it in place. Um, they, Council, Condor, they do such a good S-wing. job with they S Wing, they do such a good job. Oh, um, Marvel's axes are fantastic as well. Uh, Gransford Brock. Yeah. Um, they do such a good job. It's getting to be that With time of year, too, where uh, you do your little uh, fire pit fire. For sure. You want to scare your grandkids. You want to scare your kids. You just need a good, a good axe. axe. Don't, don't use Campfire. the... Don't do what I've done. I have axes that are older than I am. <laughs> Get rid of them. <coughs> Buy a good axe. Yeah. Buy one that you can keep and then donate to your children who can then use it improperly because it's older. You know what's crazy, old. though, is that hand axe from marbles that we carried is, like, the top-rated... Axe for under thirty bucks. The guy I cannot it's think perfect. of his Wrangle Star, yeah. who is a huge uh, YouTube reviewer. He just loved it. He was like, "This axe is amazing. There's nothing wrong with it. And Put an edge right on perfect. it. Yep. And this at what fifty six? Fifty six. You can't go to Lowe's and buy an axe this quality for fifty six no. bucks. No. This is a great axe. Um, I, and again, and it's it has, been in a movie. And it's been in a movie. That's yeah. right. Um, you can take Superstar it as axe. you've seen. You can drive it through a door. Johnny. Do you know what he actually used in the book? What? Instead of an axe? What? <laughs> he used a mallet from... What's the game? I've lost the game. In the yard. Okay. Croquet, thank you. Thank you! <laughs> John he, from the other he used a He used a croquet mallet. <laughs> Broke his wife's hip with it. Mm. And then went after the kid. Smacking wow. the walls. Wow. You know, interesting how things change from a book to a movie. Like Cinderella yeah. as a book, you know, the very first one. Was not the Cinderella oh, we dark. know today. No, all the, all very the dark. Very dark. Feet yeah, it cut part the of the feet off, yeah. feet off, like yeah. the heel, and the other one cut off her toe. I'm not losing a toe. Like just we're to just prove, not on purpose. She's not. Just to prove that everybody likes horror, <laughs> even little kids. You just didn't know it. So favorite favorite uh, horror movie of all time? Oh, um, probably the one that still creeps me out. Uh, Serpent in the Rainbow. Okay. Favorite horror movie? Mm, it's a toss-up between Jeepers Creepers and Insidious. Jeepers oh, Creepers is, wigs me those out. Those are both really good. Yes. I love them. Uh, favorite for me is probably based on how much it frightened me by when we watched it. Um, I was in middle school. My parents were out of town. My older brother basically was in charge of the house for the weekend, brought home a brand new movie called Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And my younger brother and I did not sleep for two days until my yep. parents got back. Yeah. I don't blame you. I know why. It wigged no me way. out. Psycho is one of my mom's favorite movies, and she showed it to me way too young. I didn't take showers for a long time. I just took baths. <laughs> Psycho, I did a paper in college on Psycho. There is so much great imagery and so much great uh, stuff yeah. in it. It Just look it up on Google. There are so many things in that movie that are just unbelievable. Anybody who poo-poos horror movies, you're wrong. <laughs> go, watch, go watch George Romero's original Night of the Living Dead. It is a political, cultural commentary. Nice. From the 60s and 70s. It's amazing. Guys, we're going to wrap this episode up. If you want to find this and other great uh, sharp and pointy things that are fun and can remind you of movies, Movie go, to related s- items. go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Online, we've got 25,000 products, including all the ones you see on the table. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. Make sure you're following us on Facebook. Make sure you're following us on Twitter. Jason's going to play with that axe right there. We're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Your talk ass. knives. We'll catch next time. We'll catch next time. <laughs> yeah, not, word boy, you had issues, didn't you? <laughs> I, I heard what she said and it went, really? That's what, what we're, we're going to say right in the middle of the show. <laughs>